What up, Modified 95 family? We are back. I happened to have a Ford moment yesterday. I had to call my housemate to come rescue me because I was found on road dead. So um, uh, let me show you what happened. So there's a couple things that I have been uh, working very diligently on. One is because my cars are all B-series swapped, I'm running with high octane, which I have not been doing, uh, but I should be. So I have been, especially because the gas prices have gone down a little bit, and uh, it's definitely been noticeable. I mean, yeah, it doesn't make this into a rocket ship, but I've been getting like 30, 40 more miles per tank. And so I'm like, ooh, I like this. I don't always drive very crazy. But so I was warming up my car. Another thing I've been making a big practice of doing just because it's, you know, better in the long run. So I warmed this bad boy up at work and then I took off and I was just ripping through gears and this bad boy was just eating it up. First gear, second gear, past 8K. I don't know why I was holding it so long, but it just, it was just going. It was eating it up, went into third gear and it just kind of petered out. You know, and I made it a little bit down farther down the road, then it cut out. And I was sitting there, called for a tow truck. And uh, luckily, my housemate had just gotten off work. And so he headed back from the house with some tools and a few other parts. And we had to test some things out. Uh, there are three main um, parts to uh, a car running for the most part. I mean, everything's all bolted in there and it was running. So it has to be able to breathe. Right, which we have a very unrestricted air box. So there was no issue there. And I didn't drive through any puddles. It was very cold, windy, and wet outside. Uh, number two is spark. So he brought an extra spark plug and uh, we just tested uh, to see if they would spark. And each one of them uh, seemed to spark in time the way it should. And then the last thing was fuel. So we checked the fuel and um, I just fun little filter right here so uh i think it's a 10 an line i'm not sure what the number is on that and i do have an an wrench but an 18 worked just fine and he backed that off a little bit and i turned the key fuel so i had fuel you know i was breathing it was sparking but uh unlike my red car that took a dump on me that uh now has a v16 instead of a gsr this one would spin no problem you crank it and it just seemed like it wasn't catching and in that case it really felt like a um uh, electric problem so uh, my housemate, being uh, as wise as he is, brought a spare distributor. So we had this uh, distributor. I think one of the modules is messed up because uh, any car that it's plugged into, the tachometer will not work, right? The factory one uh, in the cluster. So, um, but this did work. So we open it up, we swap it out. We let, like we reuse like my cap and we just replaced this base part to the one he brought over here. And um, this little spring on the igniter, let me show you. I'll open this up later, just not right now. So this is the spring we needed, um, but mine was like melted in there. And so uh, we were able to like force it out, but it, it like, it, how do I say this? Like it stretched it out and we had to trim some of it off. So we still got to contact, but um, when it came down to giving this car power, like getting on the freeway, it was like, nope, don't want to do it. So I, we were able to limp this thing home, saving the time towing it, even though it's only $5 for the overage on the miles, but now we're home. So today, uh, what I'd like to do is get this thing running before it clicks over to the new year, uh, running well, because it'll run now, but uh, just getting up to speed, it just like peters out as it's probably trying to push electricity through that little spring, but because it's now just touching by like, one tiny coil and not the whole spring uh, that's probably the problem so let's find out so uh you know what we need to do uh, give me five on my black hand side and let's get started boom there's definitely a lack of uh, table space for putting things but this is the one that came out of my car uh, it was super oily and a lot of this oil was leaking past so i don't know if that was actually getting in here and causing a problem um let me go find a place where we can sit this down to look at it um here we go. This is the perfect table. <sighs> All right. Um, like I said, that spring had melted, so we couldn't, they, they should be removable. They just sit like sitting there. They're not like anchored in or anything, but this one got so hot it melted. So you can see we had to pull this joker out. And then I was looking at this and I was like, man, it's a little uh, worn in there. You know, like something was rubbing. And then there's a screw that holds this thing on. And on uh, one of my cars, that screw legit flew out and cracked um, the cap, but that didn't happen on this one. And so, yeah, we were getting spark, but it was at the wrong time. And there's a big chunk missing out of there, right? 
Um, so, so yeah, so it was getting power just at the wrong time. But yeah, this should be bolted on. So it looks like not only did it break, but then this twisted, probably because I was spinning it so hard and it had been holding on for the time being, but not for now. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to get this car just running better. Um, this is what hoarding feels like. Um, we go into the shelves, we go into the boxes where all the extra stuff is, and you need this extra stuff so you don't have to order these parts. And all of these should have working parts, whether they are fully functional or not. They can come apart and they can be reapplied. So I got these three to draw from. Um, here's a good example. This is what that should look like. See, there should be a hole right there and a bolt. So that whole piece was snapped out of there and like partially turned. So yes, it was sparking at the plugs, but not at the right time and not strong enough to fire this bad boy up. Uh, so we're going to swap out a few parts um, and probably still use this one. I think that my contribution would be, um, I don't know if this gasket was leaking. You know, because that's um, a lot of times where Honda's leaks were like the three main places on that side. Cam cap, this, and valve cover. So this was obviously one of the leaks. So I might swap that over from the one that we uh, put in over there. But we know that my, like, module is good because the tack works when this is plugged in. Um, this melted, so we have another one that should be good. So I think we could just swap this bad boy in. And that should uh, rectify... Um, this issue with a good spring and then um when this came out this is a new one right or just another one you can see how it's got that metal piece surrounded by plastic and there's a hole that bolted in and this one uh snapped when we tried to pull it off right so this was still in the right place but that um screw that goes in here was missing and now this is stuck on here so we need to massage this off so we can still use this body uh, and if we can't um, we end up pulling out this stuff, which I believe is called an igniter, and all this will unbolt, and then it'll go into either the other base, if we can't get this fixed, but either way, uh, my car is going to be idling and running well before we move on to some other projects with the day that we have. I didn't feel the need to have you watch us struggle through this. Uh, this is the piece I needed. Yeah. Uh, and yet, yeah, um, the seal was definitely leaking. There's a lot of uh, oil that got into here. Uh, so, I mean, I, that might have helped mess this thing up. I don't know. Um, but I was very excited about playing with this. Um, it feels like a magnet. It just needs electricity. So, we'll play with that. That's broken, but we'll play with that. I like this cover, so I'm keeping it. Don't know what for. Because uh, it's not like they don't already come with that on there. But, you know what I mean? Some, some things you need to get rid of. Some things you need to keep. Um... But yeah, so the other shiver is coming out right now. This is going in. Um, one part in here, there was like a bolt seized in right there. We had to use vice grips to get it out. But I mean, it's coming. Usually it's come apart pretty frequent, like pretty easily. And I think most of the parts are interchangeable. Don't quote me on that, but um, we're doing it. All right, back out in the windy. Um, as soon as we're done with this, this garage door is going to close. So we can be warmish while we're doing our next project. Um, we didn't do none of that crap. Uh, we left this base on here. Um, we switched uh, this module down at the bottom. I learned that that little plastic cap that goes under here just gets in the way. And m most of the time you have to pull everything to get in there. So we're leaving those off. So uh, it's all back together. We got a different spring in there. See how... Oopsies. Uh, I'll find that spring. I dropped it. <laughs> uh, but I, I see where it fell to. Uh, but yeah, if we get a new spring for here. Uh, this one's a, a much better one. This is the body we switched to last night. Uh, so we know this is good because it runs. And so hopefully now with this and the other tack on there should work. And um, this should run like uh, really well. Uh, so this is pretty much done. We'll do a, a video after it's all together. And we're running this thing. And then we'll move on to the next thing. So right now we're looking for a new cap. Um, this one is definitely not the worst one I've seen. I uh, have another one where two of these pins are bent way back. So when it spins, it's not contacting anything like electrically. But this one, uh, we're just looking for a little bit better one from the selection of things we have. All right, let's give this thing a start. Uh, now that everything's back together and hope that it doesn't uh, fall over. Thank you. 
quit recording because it was vibrating. Check it out. <laughs> Yeah, you can feel that power of vibration. I also think this probably connects to the Bluetooth when the stereo came on. I forgot about that, but it's all back together. It seems like it's running right. So I'm gonna throw the airbags back on and this fancy uh, eBay spark plug wire cover and we're all back together. Crisis averted. All right, Modified Family, until next time.